Hello, welcome to lesson nine of Mastering Java. Here we're going to learn how to find the length of a string. Um, you know, if you were using a uh, more primitive programming language after you declared a string, if you want to know how many characters are in that string, you might have to write your own subroutine um, where you would literally go through every uh, character of a string and kind of increment the loop and just figure out how many characters are there. That's a very, very useful thing to know, how many characters are in a string. For instance, if I'm reading a password in, uh, because I have some security on my program or website or whatever I'm coding. I read a password, but maybe the maximum password length is only 10 characters. Well, I would like to know how many characters they actually type in because then I would like to tell them, hey, your password's too long or your username is too long. Um, you're always going to have limits like that in your program and you need to be able to go and figure out what the user is actually typing in so that you'll know um, if you can, you know, if you need to tell them, bounce it out and tell them to do something. Uh, a little different. So anyway, let's show you how to figure out what the length of a string actually is. Let's create a string and we'll just call this one, you know, car one. And I'll just call this, uh, I have two Fords. Now eh, let's do it this way. Let's do it this way. This is a Ford and string car two is a Chevy. And string car three is a Mitsubishi. And let's just do for the fourth string, uh, I'll just call this STR. I'll just put anything I want in here. I really love cars a great deal. No, I really don't have three cars. Okay and I'll put a semicolon there. So what I have is three strings called car one, two, and three, and I have sort of the names there. And you can think of this as a database. Maybe you take a survey of car owners and they type in Ford for the first car that they own. They type in Chevy for the second one. They type in Mitsubishi for the third. And then maybe I ask them for some miscellaneous notes. And then the guy types in, I really love cars a great deal. No, I really don't have three cars. All right, so of course we can print these to the screen. We can say um, system.out.println whoops, ln, and we can say car1, like this, and we can print that out, and it says Ford, of course. Now, we've said many times, we're always going to have limits to how many characters you're going to be able to type in when you take input from a user. So the way you do that in Java, you do system.out.println, and the name of the string is called car1. Right, so you do car one, and then you would hit the period. Remember when we were doing objects, the way you access the methods and the member variables is by putting a period. Because car one is an object that we've created of type string, there's lots of things that are available to us that are kind of done by the creators of Java. There are methods and things that are associated with the class called the string class. One of them is called the length, and it tells you right here it returns an integer. So we double click that and it puts it there and then we can put a semicolon at the end. So when I run my program again, Ford is printed out. That's the first line. The second line, what this is doing is it's going into the car object. It's accessing the method called length that's associated with the car object. And this method counts the number of characters in the string, which is four. And it returns an integer. That's why when we put the dot, it had int because that method is returning an integer, which is a number four. So let's go down here and we can do the same thing again. Let me copy this with control C and paste this out here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put a blank line, system.out.println. That's just gonna give me a blank line. We'll take the X out of there. And we'll do it like this. And then we can put car2. And just to kind of illustrate it again, if you do car2 period, then associated with car2, the object, is a bunch of methods here. We'll get to some of these later, but we want the length, which is returning an integer. right? And I can take all of this, and I can paste it again, and I can change this to car3, and I can change this to car3. And so the reason I'm kind of speeding this up a little bit is because it's the same thing over and over again. The word Ford has four characters. The word Chevy has five characters. The word Mitsubishi has 10 characters. You don't have to write, uh, if you know what Java can do for you, then you save a lot of time because then you don't have to write a subroutine to count the number of characters in your string, for example. This would take a while to count by hand. I'm not even gonna count this guy here, but I'm going to sit here and say, um, 
let me just go ahead and copy this again and paste this in again. Uh, now instead of car three, this is actually called str, and this is called str period length like this. And let's see what it says. We'll go ahead and run it again after Mitsubishi. I really love cars a great deal. No, I really don't have three cars. And according to Java, that's 65 characters. That's including all the letters. It's including all the spaces. It's including the periods, the commas, the apostrophes. Anything you see here, including white space, all the way up to the period, because that's the very last thing in our string, is counted there. Um, so it's an important thing I wanted you to... Um, to know how to do is to access the length here because in the future lessons we're going to be looping through and doing things with the strings and sometimes you might control the loop based on how long the string is or you might have an if statement depending on how long the string is for instance I could have an if statement after the input here for Ford and I might say if the length of the string uh, which means car one dot length is less than 10 then proceed with the program if it's greater than 10 then put an error message saying um, sorry try again this is too long or something like that so it's a very practical thing uh, that you might need to know how long your strings are and this is how you uh, you get at that now in other programming languages like C and C++ you can access the uh, you, there are functions that that will go and count the number of characters in a string but because the uh, string is an object in Java. We access it just like we access the member methods of an object, which is with the period operator. That's how we were doing it before. That's why it looks very similar here. And that's kind of why we held off the discussion of strings a little bit for you to understand what an object is uh, because of that.